Hi everybody, I'm Yusei, I'm from SAP. I'm here within the Heidelberg Laureate format. I met for me a pioneer of the mathematics, so I have I heard a lot of him and it's an amazing day today for me to meet him personally. He is Sir uh, Michael Francis Atia. He's originally from Lebanon. He had the schools in Egypt and he's now uh, I think in Britain, right, in England. So and you had today a lot of message to us as a young scientists. So, could you maybe, uh, could you maybe resume that a little bit again yes, for us? Of yeah. course. Well, my message to the young people were twofold. First of all, uh, try to be radical, have new ideas, and don't look to the get new ideas. Look to the very far past, inspired by the great people in the past, and don't worry too much about what your present teachers say. Uh, you, you, you want to get new ideas which have fantastic revolutionary developments. Not real, I don't mean revolution in the sense of a uh, military, military coup. I mean revolution in terms of ideas. And revolution in terms of ideas are what create the future. And so the young people, their task is to listen to the old guys, find out the problems and produce new ideas which will alter the lives of everybody in the future. I think that's enough message. I, I think there was plenty to do, and young people should be full of enthusiasm, and my job was to give them enthusiasm. So, and I can speak Arabic to you now, I say, Ma salama. <laughs> we have just another one question, which is yeah. a little bit special for me. So, yeah. you are originally from uh, Lebanon, and you had also a school in Egypt, yes. and you are living in, uh, in England for a long time. I don't in Scotland for, for a long time now. Yeah. So it uh, does have any uh, influence for you this to have this multiculture behind? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, first of all, my mother was not was Scottish. My father was Lebanese. We grew up, uh, my fam family from Beirut. Uh, my father worked in the Sudan, in Khartoum. I went to school in Cairo, in Alexandria, and then in England. So I moved all around the world. I think being very international is a very good thing. It gives you a much broader perspective. You don't become narrow-minded. You know, you realize that every country has problems, it has solutions, ideas, and the world is a very uh, interesting place. And I don't, I feel I belong, I'm a citizen of the world. People say, where do you come from? I'm a citizen of the world. I, I don't believe in frontiers, I don't believe in language. So, of course, there are some problems. I don't speak all the languages of the world. I only speak English, French, and Arabic. Okay, that's not a bad start. So, uh, it, the young people have a great opportunity now because everybody looks, they come from Egypt or where? I'm from Tunisia. Egypt. Tunisia, all right. Tunisia, I've been to Tunisia. Tunisia actually was Carthage, which was founded by the Phoenicians, who were the Lebanese. So, really, you're really, yes, right. you're really a Lebanese too. Uh, and so, the civilization is very old. Uh, the Roman civilization, the Greeks, the Carthaginians, and so uh, civilization has a long back and a long future. And here we are. Things are changing very fast, but they can change fast and still some uh, essential truths remain. And the real search for truth and beauty and you know, the right way of life, these are what we all try to find. That doesn't change. So I think I'll, we have to go to the next here lecture now, and uh, good luck to you all. I enjoyed meeting you. Thank you.